Giorgio Amani was born on 11th July 1934 in the town of Piacenza, Italy, where he was raised with his older brother Sergio and younger sister Rosanna by his mother Maria Raimondi and father Ugo Amarni, an accountant for a transport company. He faced a tough time which was shadowed with aftermaths of the Second World War. Amani wanted to pursue a career in medicine, so he enrolled at the University of Milan. In 1953, he left his studies to enlist in the army. After he experienced life in hospitals in Verona, Armani realized this was not what he wanted. He returned home from war and got a job at a department store, La Rinascinta, as a window dresser. Later on, he became a seller in the menswear department, which helped him experience various features of the fashion industry. In the 1960s, Armani joined the company Nino Ceruti where he was in charge of designing men's wear. Along with this, he also designed for other fashion houses such as Baguta, Allegri, Sicons, Montenduro, Hilton's and Tendresi. For the next decade, Amani was in high demand and his work was highly acclaimed amongst the international press. On the advice of his partner, Sergio Galeotti, he decided to found his label. In 1975, he established Giorgio Amani SPA in Milan and in October launched his first collection of ready-to-wear men's and women's clothing for summer 1976. His designs use fabric in surprising contexts and blends which also became his defining style. During the 1980s, Amani's power suit for men and women became a symbol for the era of global economic success. He was the first designer after Christian Dior to appear on the cover of Times magazine. He used to approach celebs to wear his design on events. Hollywood stars such as Jodie Foster, Michael Pfeffer, and John Travolta dressed in Armani at the Academy Awards. Giorgio Armani also designed costumes for theater, stage, and airline crew. His fame skyrocketed after Richard Gere wore his designs in the movie American Gigolo. He also designed outfits for the popular hit TV series Miami Vice. In 1985, Amani was hit by a great tragedy as his long-term partner Galeotti died due to cancer. However, Amani proved to the world that he was an extremely talented executive and designer who would not take a bow out of grief by increasing his business activities. By the end of the 90s, there was more than 2,000 Amani stores all over the world and his annual sales were somewhere around $2 billion. In 1996, his longtime friend, Eric Clampton, composed songs for Amani's fashion shows and has since dressed in Amani. Later that year, Clapton opened two Empero Amani stores in New York City. In 1998, Armani hosted a party for Clapton's Crossroad Guitar Auction. Amani also prepared to break into the Chinese market by opening up his first store in that country in 1998. The small shop in Beijing was followed by a flagship store in Shanghai in 2004 and plans for 40 by 2011. In 2000, Jojo Amani SPA was introducing new lines of cosmetics and home furnishings and expanding its line of accessories. At the same time, the Guggenheim Museum in New York hosted an exhibition of Amani's work, a first for a living designer, with an average attendance of 29,000 a week. In 2008, Mani designed a bullfighting costume called the Goisco, won by Spanish bullfighter Cayetano Rivera Ordonis at the Corridor Goisco in Ronda, Spain. They have also collaborated on several fashion shows and other events. As of 2009, Armani had a retail network of 60 Giorgio Armani boutiques, 11 Colisioni, 112 Emperor Amani, 94 AX Amani Exchange, 1 Jojo Amani Accessory, and 13 Amani Junior Stores spread over 37 different countries. Amani was the first designer to ban models with a body max index below age 18 after model Anna Carolina Reston starved herself to death due to anorexia nervosa. Amani broadcast his collection live on the internet, the first in the world of Hotokotori, on 24th January 2007. The Amani Privy Spring-Summer 2007 fashion show was broadcast via MSN 
and singular cellular phones. After LG teamed with Prada to introduce the LG Prada phone, Samsung joined Armani to design the Jojo Armani phone. Armani has designed with many stage outfits for pop superstar Lady Gaga, including those worn on her record-breaking Monster Ball Tour and Born This Way Ball Tour. He has also designed for many high-profile award shows such as the 52nd Grammy Awards and the 2010 MTV Video Music Awards. Giorgio Manny and MR Properties PGSC signed an agreement in 2005 for MR Properties PGSC to build and operate at least seven luxury hotels and three vacation resorts under the Giorgio Armani name. Giorgio Armani will be responsible for overseeing all aspects of the interior design and style of the hotels. The Armani Hotel was opened in Burj Khalifa on April 27, 2010, comprising the bottom 39 floors of the super-tall skyscraper in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. It has 160 guest rooms and suites and 144 residences. Giorgio Armani is also designing the interiors of the Armani residences also within the skyscraper. Armani is an intensely private man but has publicly identified as bisexual. He had a long-standing relationship with his business partner, the architect Sergio Galliotti, who died in 1985. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other interesting videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.